Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Sunday the 17th of April 2022. We start off today with another um, player being linked with Millwall. So what is the link and how strong is it? So this is from footballinsider247.com. That is the man in question. You see him right there. Hey, can you recognise that shirt? I'll tell you. It's Shrewsbury. Uh, Mill set sights on signing Shrewsbury Town. Or is it Shrewsbury or is it Shrewsbury? Uh, Shrewsbury Town star Daniel Udo. Mill have set their sights on signing Shrewsbury Town Daniel Udo. Football Insider understands the London club's recruitment team have been keeping close tabs on the inform forward 25 ahead of the summer. The recruitment sources told Football Insider that Mill sent a top talent spot to watch Udo in action for town in a recent league clash against Ipswich Town. Um, so basically, uh, we sent a scout to watch him. That's, that's it, apparently. Now obviously it means we're, we're not watching him for fun, we're obviously watching him because we might be interested in signing him. Um, the powerful mobile strike is said to fit the profile of the type of frontman Gary is looking to sign this summer, Udo is under contract at New Bedham until the summer of 2023. So he has a year left on his contract. Okay, so he'll probably cost a fair few quid. Or we could, if he waits until January 2023, then we can start talk, he can start talking to other clubs, including us, in terms of signing him in July 2023 for the 23-24 season. So looking ahead... Um, Planning well ahead like a game of chess. Uh, he played the full 90 minutes against Ipswich, but was not able to add to his goal tally of 15 for the season across all competitions. Uh, that includes Shrewsbury's goal in their 4-1 loss to Liverpool at Anfield in the FA Cup third round earlier this year. The Nigerian-born ace joined Shrewsbury for non-league site AFC Telford United in 2019. He has scored 24 times and provided 12 assists in 125 games including 85 starts across all competitions for the Shrew. Um, so that's that's not that, that good, to be honest with you, is it? 25 goals in 84 starts. Um, what is that? That's one goal every three and a half games. <laughs> and that's just the starts. So obviously, you don't know when you add in the... Uh, coming off the bench is uh, goes even lower and that's it that's it what level are they at league one yeah okay um mill will be in the market for a new striker this summer with current top scorer benica phobia's loan expiring at the end of the season hmm in so yeah that's a so benica phobia is he not coming back next season are we not signing him in the summer? Either permanent or I doubt they'll do another loan, but maybe if we pick up more of his wages or all of his wages, they might consider it. But uh, it would then effectively be be a free transfer if we pay all of his wages. Uh, it will effectively be a free transfer. We just transfer. We just pay all of his wages that a Stoke would be paying. And we pay them, and uh, we get him for just doing that. And then his contract runs out. If we just do that, it will, we'll only be signing him for a season. And then at the end of the next season, we'll see how it goes. But it seems maybe that's, they know that's not happening. Maybe he doesn't want to come back. Maybe he's uh, not enjoying himself. I uh, don't know, but we shall see. He has that right in... He's only here to the end of the season. What goes on after that is, uh, we have no idea. So, uh, a phobia on loan from Stoke City is found in it 10 times in the championship this term, including four in his last five appearances. The Lions are currently 10th in the division, just three points behind Sheffield United, the Rocker by the final playoff place for four games to go. And then, I don't care about Tottenham Hospital, so there you go. Uh, Daniel Udo from Shrewsbury Town. We just sent a scout to watch him. That's that's the link apparently. Um, yeah, that's it. We just sent a scout to watch him in person. So 
eh, what are you going to do? Um, so in the video the other day, the post-match stats from the Preston game, we didn't have the, the DXG timeline. Here it is. Um, obviously, Murray Wallace scores for Preston early, early on. After they had a first shot on goal, but before they had the second. And we actually scored on our second shot on goal. Our first shot took until about the 14th minute. And the second shot was on until around the 25th minute or so. And we scored with that. And then you can see there's a massive flat line in the light blue line. We didn't have another shot until about the 40th minute. So it was a very quiet first half for us. But you can see here in the second half, uh, a lot better um, from us. We had one really good chance. Um, and they had one really good chance. You, as you can see, their line jump up. Um, but, uh, yeah, a few, a, a bit of a staircase effect, which is what you want to see. And which Preston had a go at it from around the 60th minute mark. And then after that, they kind of tailed off and didn't really do much. I think that's we attacked a lot more at the end of the end of the second half, and that I think that's down to the energy of Bradshaw. And it will be interesting to see if he starts tomorrow against uh, Hull. So let's move on to that. Let's have a look at Hull tomorrow, Bank Holiday Monday, three o'clock kickoff, and this is eleven v eleven dot com. It is the Mill versus Hull City games, and. This shocked me when I pulled it up. It absolutely shocked me. Um, Hull City have an absolutely fucking dire record travelling to Millwall. Um, any Hull City fans travelling to the Den tomorrow, they're either sadist, masochists, or optimists of divine proportions. Because they have only one at me a wall one two three four times in 33 chances four times in 33 chances and three of them won that one nil wins and one of them was a 3-2 win so yeah four wins out of 33 games but 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 here's the kicker so we haven't beaten them in the league for about five, four games. Now, last time we played them, it was this game. It was a one-run draw. Before that, we did beat them, but it was in the FA Cup 2019, January. So that would have been the third round. But before that, two draws and then a defeat. We last beat them in the league 2012, 7th of April. So similar uh, time of the year, April. Um, and it was a 2-0. Um, so that's kind of weird that we have this absolutely amazing, amazing record against Hull City at home. But the recent record is not too good without a win in a league for four opportunities. So, hmm, what could that mean? What could that mean? Um, and you see, tr actually, the other way, travelling to Hull. Mill's record is absolutely dire, so it seems uh, neither team likes travelling to the other. And I've, I've never been to Hull, so I can't comment. Any of you been? Um, I imagine it's not the best city in the world. Um, I, well, I imagine there are parts of it um, that are not too good with the post-industrialisation of the um, shipbuilding. Did they do the shipbuilding there? The, the um, docks and stuff, the the industry. I uh, imagine that's kind of shut down and faded away. Um, I think the city centre is pretty decent, isn't it? I know they have their own uh, telephone exchange. From weirdly, I don't fucking know why. It's actually Kingston, isn't it? Kingston upon Hull. Um, so let's move on to this. This is the recent record. That last game with one one draw, we had to do with a little bit of help from the referee. Uh, he got them down to ten men. Um, and you can see here. So the last six games at Millwall, two wins for Millwall, uh, three draws, and one win for Hull. 
and they've had a lot of yellow cards in these games 15 we only had seven interesting stuff and we have kept two clean sheets and they have kept two clean sheets so let's scroll down and see where the teams are in the table so we are 10th uh, with this record and 62 points they are 19th just above the relegation zone but they have no threat of relegation at all I think the bottom three will be the bottom three they are what they are um, 47 so and they have whoa 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 so I keep looking at our, our goals for and it's really bad compared to the teams around us but when you look at the teams at the bottom even worse they've scored 36 goals in 42 games worse attacker attacking than us they've lost 21 games where we've only lost 12 courtesy of all the draws that we have but they have won 13 games and let's look at the home table we are seventh oh they are rock bottom you know oh we're not playing them at home so we're not playing them at home so that doesn't fucking matter why did i go like that uh so we are seventh in the league in terms of just home games oh they are ninth they are ninth in the league in terms of all away games they are pretty decent away from home so what's what's that about do they park the bus weird they don't they're okay let's have a let's have a look at the form Ooh, okay they are six in the form table they are playing they're getting results right now uh, six goals in six games only conceding five three wins one draw two defeats so they won one more game than us in the last six games uh, in terms of home form the last six games we're four one one at home the last six, oh shit the last six games the form table for away games all are top of the league they've only conceded one goal away in their last six away games they've won three and drawn three so let's have a look scroll down and see what they did yeah these six these are the six games here so these are our six games away from home they beat Middlesbrough 1-0 they beat Coventry 2-0 they drew 0-0 at Birmingham they beat Peterborough 3-0 they drew 1-1 at QPR and they drew 0-0 against Sheffield United it seems like they do park the bus they have kept five clean sheets in their last six away matches holy fucking shit bang on cue this is this is one of the easy teams by the way our running's easy this is this is one of the easy teams oh this is not easy this is wow um jesus we might lose tomorrow we really might lose um here's our away record so last two games we've conceded one goal even in that 4-1 defeat of Barnsley and um, before that we did keep four clean sheets against Huddersfield, Middlesbrough, Chelsea United and Queen's Park Rangers so what will happen tomorrow uh, whole strengths protecting the lead so how do they play let's have a look uh, the temp cross crosses often attack down the left play with width and they play in their home half and they are non-aggressive ah oh, so they sit back they play it around in the, the at the back and they let the other team have the ball they don't try and close them down so oh, well, you want to have the ball you have the ball all day long and then they probably only tackle when they get in the uh towards their um area interesting stuff um so match forecast mill will dominate in the air very likely mill will control the game in the opposition's half likely okay so let's move on to uh, let's move on to this um yes prediction uh mill failed to close the gap at uh, to the top six on friday 
when they were forced to settle for a point on the road at Deepdale. Gower outside have lost just one of their last nine league games in South London, ahead of a visit of Hull. First half goals from... Holy shit, uh... Alaya... Sayada Manesh and Louis Cole helped Hull claim a deserved 2-1 victory against Cardiff on Good Friday. The Tigers have won back-to-back -back league games and are unbeaten in six on the road. Holy shit, so they obviously have a style of playing away from home that is working for them very, very well. Um, can we crack it? Can we crack the... Um, and they say Mill will one, all one. Can we crack it? Well, are they due a defeat? They obviously must be due a defeat. Maybe they're getting a bit too confident uh, on their way travels. Um, yeah, we will see. I think it yeah, a lot depends on the team that Gary Rowe puts out, to be honest with you. Um, if Bradshaw starts, if Hutch starts, um, if maybe Malone... He's arrested. Can he do two? He's 31 years old now. Can he do two games uh, back to back so close? I don't know. Murray Wallace will play all right there on the left. So why not? Will Savile come in for Billy Mitchell? Billy Mitchell didn't have the best of games at Preston North End, and he felt Savile was dropped just to rest him for Keithton Bell. Or will Keithton Bell come out? Because it's, it's an own game. We probably want to be a bit more attacking, especially if Hull are not going to press us and let us have the ball. So. Before I give you my prediction, let's move on to David Pratton's prediction. Uh, this is from SkySports.com, and then one, yet again, uh, the game is not available on iFollow TV. It's not available on Sky Sports Red Button because of we used our our uh, games to watch um, the COVID rearranged games from Christmas time. So we've run out of games to to, to use. We only have a, a certain amount not allowed any extra um, so it won't be you can't watch it really you can listen on I follow but it's not really the same is it um, so let's scroll down and see where we are uh, I think Sky have got like five or six games yeah look, they've got like five or six games they've got like a 12.30 a, a couple of threes a 5.30 and an 8 again um, yeah so these are all their games that they're talking about up top, five, there's the 531, there's the 8 pm one, Forest West Brom. So, um, here we go. And David Pratt predicts Mill 2, Hull 2. So, he, he predicted the Preston North End game to be a 2 2 as well. So, it cracks me up. So, at the end of the season, we're at the end of the season and we're seeing some crazy score lines. I noticed in was it in League 1 or League 2, there were a lot of free twos. Like weirdly, like there was five League Two, uh, three two results in in League League One or two on Friday, Good Friday. It was very weird um, to have five goals in a game in a lot of games. Um, so he but he's still cracking over the with the one ones and the two ones. He's he's not. How can you predict like crazy end of season games like four four nils and four ones and whatnot? I suppose you can't. So. You, you've got uh, the prediction from whoscored.com. You've got David Pratton's prediction. He reckon, they both reckon it's going to be a draw. Uh, whoscored.com is going with 1-1. One, one. David Pratton's going with 2-2. Two, two. I am going to say... I am going to say... I am going to say... Yes, I am. I think it's going to be Millwall 2, Hull 1. It's going to be 2 1. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.